Good afternoon, everyone. So um, today I'm going to do the book review for uh, the book called The Secret, which is written by Rhonda Brandy. And if I speak about myself, I'm not really a great fan of inspirational and motivational books because I feel like motivation can only drive you to do certain certain things, but until and unless you, you take that action, you cannot do that. For example, if I want to do certain thing A, I read about, like I read or someone motivated me, but I will lose that motivation after some time, right? Unless and until my inner motivation is there, my inner inspiration is there to do that X thing. So, this book is basically the secret is a self-help book. This talks about the secret of life. This talks about the secret of health, the secret of relationship, the secret of wealth, and many more secrets we see in the book review. So uh, the basic key ideas that uh, this book is talking about is a very special law called as law of attraction. Then uh, we'll talk about vis visualization and affirmation. Then we'll talk about wealth, health, relationship. Then somewhere we'll talk about empowerment also. So I'll start with law of attraction. What do you understand by law of attraction? Like nowadays, uh, especially if we say Gen Z people, they use a word called manifest. Like I have manifested this, you have manifested that. And if you, if you say to someone that, you know, don't be sad, you just manifest, manifest this and this will come to you back. What does it mean? Manifestation has a strong power. Like if you think positively, that signal will go out in the universe and that positive signal will come to you ultimately, maybe not now, but at some other time. So this is called as power of manifestation and this comes under law of attraction. So as I said, if you think positively, positive outcomes will come to you. If you think negatively, negative outcomes will come to you. Now after manifesting, manifesting you have to visualize yourself. For example, I have manifested, for example, I have manifested to become a scientist. For that, I need to visualize myself as a scientist. For that, I need to think that I have already been, like I am already in that position. I know I am already a scientist now. So that is a visualization you should have. As Brock, uh, Bob uh, Proctor also said, if you see it in your mind, you are going to hold it in your hand. Mind have the power to uh, I would say mind have the power to uh, change your way of thinking. So uh, visualize yourself in that status and the next thing which will come along with visualization is the power of belief. Only visualizing may not lead to any action but believing in yourself and that for, for example I just told uh, I want to if I want to become a scientist then I have to visualize myself as a scientist, then I have to also believe in myself that I can become a scientist. Or maybe you wanted to become a philosopher, or maybe someone else wants to become an engineer. So they have to believe in yourself and at the same time visualize also uh, that they are in that position. But somewhere in this law of attraction, two major factors come. They are like doubt and fear, along with insecurity. See, uh, suppose if I say I want to crack this competitive exam, you will be confident somewhere but somewhere you will be in a doubt that maybe I will not be able to crack it. You will have fear if I don't, if I don't uh, crack it then what I will do. So this doubt and fear, it will lead you, it will lead the prevention of law of attraction which means now you are not able to send your energy, your positive energy to the universe. So now that positive energy is not going to come back to you and that may affect your action, that may affect your result. So this was the power of belief. Then when we talk of wealth, wealth is not only about uh, talking about money. Wealth, the secret to wealth and abundance is doing what you love, is following your passion, is following your dream, is enjoying your life and also at the same time showing gratitude and be thankful for what you have. Then I would say like, there is no shortcut to hard work but there is a shortcut to life. It is to be happy and to feel happy. So if you, if you are happy then you will radiate this energy to the universe and the universe will give it back to you. Then uh, if we talk about health, uh, health 
one should focus on feeling healthy when you are ill. You may be ill at the level of like level one, level two, level three. Like you may be severely ill, or you you may be like not that much ill. But in every kind of illness, you should have that mentality that I have to feel healthy. I have to be motivated. I have to feel like okay, I will get better because that mind will eventually lead you uh, to a better life. Will eventually lead you to the better health. Then. Uh, so healing healing comes with own if we talk about any kind of illness which can be cured with the medicine so healing will not come only with the medicine healing will come will come with the mindset so healing mindset and medicine is a combination of healing then uh, we know that all stress it begins with one negative thought so one thought you might not know it might have crossed your mind It, it is a negative thought. You might have not like checked it. So one thought it can change your manifestation. Like it can mean if you are uh, having stress and that one negative thought cross your mind, then stress will be manifested. But you can change it at any point of time. You can change your manifestation uh, by by uh, thinking positive, by starting to have positive thoughts in your mind. So a major thing about health is. a major point i would say is laughter laughter is the best medicine so there is uh, this anecdote uh, in this book uh, of kathy goodman and she was diagnosed with breast cancer but she had this like strong belief she had this uh, strong faith that she was already healed she was uh, saying to herself that thank you for healing me thank you for healing and one so one thing we would say we have learned from the story is the power of gratitude to heal the power of faith to receive and the power of laughter and joy to any uh, dissolve to dissolve any kind of illness so this was all about health now let's talk about the another aspect which is called as a relationship so before going to any kind of relationship first you need to understand who you are first you need to love and respect yourself because as i said that law of here also law of attraction works if you are not considering yourself as worthy if you are not considering yourself as deserving and if you are not if you are considering that no i am not maybe i am not good for this person maybe he is too deserving maybe he is like too good for me so again this will go into the universe and this will come back to you people will treat you like that people will treat you how the way you are treating yourself so first in a relationship you should always love and respect yourself because obviously you also want other person to uh, give same amount of love and respect what you are giving to that person then um, i would say there are some uh, concepts of empowerment personal empowerment also so if you are looking for personal empowerment uh, hope and optimism this is a great book then uh, why because it suggests that uh, it suggests individuals have control over their circumstances how by changing their mindsets and by changing their mindsets they can change their lives so it's all about in the mind then um, i would like to certain i would like to mention certain points in the book which i felt uh, there is like over simplification of the words which means uh, when i talked about illness when i talked about hardships when i talked about if i talk about any kind of poverty so this book is over simplifying it this book is saying that if you have negative thought so that negative thought is the starting point of your illness this this negative thought is the starting of your poverty but but uh, i don't think so this is right because many people are struggling many people are like putting so much of effort so it will create a bad impact on their life then this book is also having passive approach passive approach means this book is merely focusing on thinking uh, on thinking uh, on like thinking uh, how you can succeed and not it's not like focusing on the hard work kind of area determination kind of area but i would say thinking is a good process because everything starts from the mind everything starts from thinking only but you have to combine that with your power of determination with your power of hard work uh, hard work to get the result so uh, at last i would like to say that uh, this book it it's like inspirational book and it is more effective when you combine this thinking with the real world action so that you can have a balanced life you can have 
balanced mindset. So uh, I would recommend for those who are looking for personal development, personal empowerment, for those who are looking for optimism in life, this secret book is a must go. Thank you.